My name is Peter Martin. Uh, I'm an artist at Hallmark Cards. And I'm also a creator of this uh, thing that I did <laughs> called Asteroid Andy. And I want to just roll that first clip, could we? I should just stop doing this. Why am I doing this? Oh, actually, Ryan, my strategy. Ow! Um, but anyway, uh, I created uh, this thing called Asteroid Andy, and it's an online uh, animated series, games, digital books. I think I have uh, 30 animated shorts, um, 13 games, and a, and a digital book written by a very, very talented writer, Dan Taylor, who might be in the audience. Um, if you see him, point at him. Where is he? He's very talented and very far away from me. Thank you, Dan. Um, but anyway, uh, Asteroid Andy kind of started out. Uh, I'll give you the backstory about Asteroid Andy, first of all. Asteroid Andy is a little boy who lives in the distant future on Earth. And uh, everything's going fine for him. He's cool. And one day, the, the galaxy's greatest elementary school lands in the field next to his house. And of course, all the parents in the universe want their kids to go to the greatest elementary school in the, in the galaxy. So they literally have all their planets moved to, uh, to orbit around Earth so that they could be in the school district with this school. <laughs> so so I, Andy basically becomes the center of the universe. And he doesn't, he's not very excited about it because all these alien kids are tromping all across his lawn and stuff. So, so the idea behind Asteroid Andy is like kind of this kid who's had everything perfect the way he wanted it, and then everything kind of gets blown up uh, very, very quickly, and he has got to survive and, and make friends and all that kind of stuff. Um, but Esther and Andy kind of came around from, I had, a, uh, like I said, a greeting card uh, illustrator for Hallmark, and I had gotten a, an assignment to create a CD-ROM uh, game that goes inside a card. And of course, I got carried away, as I usually do. And they just wanted one game. And I'm like, oh, no, it's going to be three games. And they're going to be connected by this elaborate story. And it's going to be interactive and stuff like that. And very got very, very out of control and way too expensive to do. So they said no. And they said you could do one game and one little story. Um, so I, I kind of went around uh, everybody's back. And I put a link inside the game that launched uh, a website called AsteroidAndy.com with the idea that like later on when the thing comes out, I'll have all those stories and games on the site for the kids. So the kids will find it. No one will be the wiser. And you know, <laughs> it'll be kind of cool. I'll get my thing done. So, so I did that. And then I started just creating content uh, kind of just quietly by myself after hours. I, I had moved on to another assignment. So I was just creating content just for, for fun and just to try things out. And uh, it's really kind of funny. You guys were talking about talent earlier. Like, where do you find your talent? I actually, I actually kidnapped an entire family. Um, Mark Spencer, uh, raise your hand, Mark. Mark Spencer, his two sons, Jack and Sam, and his wife, Sandra, are the voices that I use for my, my cartoons. And the cool thing about that is, uh, is that what they brought to the recording studio really informed how Andy developed and how his stories kind of came about. Once you hang out with twin, twin brothers who are just sh hopped up on sugar. <laughs> it's like ideas, ideas, ideas. And a lot of it, too, was ad-libbed. So uh, we would spend time just sitting there with, with dad and the kids, and they would just talk about stuff. And I would bring up subjects, and they would just talk about talk about it. And every once in a while, there would just be this gem, this hilarious, poignant moment. I'm like, that's it. I got it. And then I'd make him tickle his kid for 20 minutes until I got the right laugh. <laughs> so, um, so we did that. So we, we started doing that. We started doing games, and we started doing the digital book and trying out new and different things. And um, I want to play the, uh, the second clip. And this is, this is a clip of one of the shorts that are on the site now and to kind of give you a flavor of what Asteroid Andy is like. There should be vault sound. Come on, Andy. Finish up your homework. Chop, chop. But, Mom, it's so hard. Ugh. 
Oh, Andy, it's not so hard. You can do it. It's impossible. There's never been a problem this hard before in all of the history of the universe. You said that about your language arts homework. Ah, language arts homes is so unfathomable. What's the deal with the silent E? It's, is it I before E? What if it's just E before I? It's a mystery never meant to be solved, Mom. It's just a problem we need to walk away from. Walk away, Mom. Just walk away. If you finish your math within the next three seconds, I'll give you a cookie. Done! Cookie, please. Putting my dish in the sink is one of the hardest things ever. It's too hard and too dangerous to, to even attempt. Just walk away from it, Mom. Walk away. And as you can tell by the animation, I taught myself how to animate, and that's what happens. So I'm, I, I do not claim to be an animator. I claim to be kind of a, a cook of things and pushing things together. Um, so yeah, so it was a lot of, uh, a lot of just that kind of moment to moment creation. And if you go on the site and you look at the stuff, you'll notice that just I'm just kind of all over the place. And, and like I said before, it's like I was really doing this on the weekends and on, on, uh, on evenings. And that's not to bag on Hallmark. And actually, that, it, it turned out to be a, a way better way of working for me is because I didn't have anybody really to stand over me and say, make it be about this or you know, do this because we need to solve for a, you know, a problem. It was just like, uh, just me playing. And so um, through that kind of playfulness, I kind of figured out a lot of this backstory and a lot of characters. And, and we started, I started bringing in you know, friends. Their kids would come in, and I would grab them and run, run them into the studio. And we would do little sessions with them and stuff and develop a whole lot more um, content. And actually, I do have like hours and hours of audio that I have not touched, which I, I really want to get to. Um, but once again, I'm still doing other stuff uh, for Hallmark. Um, the cool thing that happened after uh, I got the site up is that we got um, contacted by uh, Out of the Blue, and they were the uh, creators of Blue's Clues for Nickelodeon, and they went and started their own company. And they saw potential in it for being a, a television show, uh, a series. And I was very excited. And so we started um, working with them, collaborating with them to develop this, this series. And, and I pulled some of the brightest guys I knew at Hallmark, uh, Dan Taylor, of course, Adam Sheff, and Chris Harding, and I brought him in, and, and I started, we started writing scripts just in a room together, which was, which was great. Uh, and, but I wasn't used to it. Like I said, I was in my basement most of the time doing this. And so it was really kind of jarring to get other people's ideas in. And, but it worked out brilliantly. I, uh, I couldn't have gone further without them. And so, so we developed this, uh, this um, idea for these 22-minute uh, long uh, show. And we pitched it to Nickelodeon, and we pitched it to um, Cartoon Network, and we pitched it to the Hub, Hub Network, which is a new network f uh, that Hasbro owns. Um, and, and the interesting thing is that they, they, uh, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network liked it. Also, that's what they said to me in, at my face. We love it. <laughs> and, uh, and I believed them. And then <laughs> they said, but, you know, it's, because of how TV, how it's uh, really uh, about the age ranges, they, they really need to, seg to be focused on kids 9 to 11, boys, because that's where, that's where the toys are being sold. That's who's buying the, you know, that's who's coming to watch the show, and your show seems a little younger. And so we're like, well, that's, that's, a, that's a fine excuse. Um, but, we, you know, like, but we felt like it could, it could span that, but they were very specific about, no, it has to be this. So, um, when we went to the hub, the hub was in an interesting position because they're, now they're, they're competing against Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network, and they see that those guys are really focused on this 9-11, and they're like, well, what about these five to eight-year-olds? They don't have really a place to go, so let's program to the five to eight-year-olds, and Asteroid Andy would be perfect for that because it really kind of hit all the, all the points for that, that age group. And so, um, uh, to make a long story short, um, uh, I can't have nice things because it all fell apart. Uh, <laughs> it was a lot, it was a, a merchandise, not a merchandise, uh, it was a financing thing that just kind of fell apart and, and everybody kind of moved on their way. But the cool thing that did come out of it and the positive thing that came out of it 
was that um, that whole collaboration thing, which I hadn't done before, was really kind of invigorating. And so uh, I was working on, uh, I'll just show you what I'm working on. Can you go ahead and play that one? Open one. One present. But it has to be from someone off planet. This one's from Uncle Alistair. Oh no. He gives the best gifts. Whoa. Alright. <gasps> awesome! Boy. Oh, please let it be. It's what? A sweater. Dad, can I open something else? Nope. Sorry, pal. That's the deal. Oh, man. Wait a minute. There's instructions. Instructions? For a dopey sweater? Uh-oh. Why would you possibly- Andy, run! Huh? Whoa, awesome! It's alive! The instructions say it's a Christmas countdown sweater. It won't come off until Christmas morning. Yes, no bath till Christmas. I love this sweater. That's a Christmas present from a very dear friend of mine. Oh, not this again. Look, Daddy, teacher says every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Shut off. That's right. Shut off. <laughs> oh, for the love of. Observed creator, the programmer says every time a hollow object typically made of metal and having the shape of a deep inverted cup whining at the lip, when struck, a spiritual being believed to act I hate this sweater. Of God gets its wings. Just pull it over your head. Wow, thanks Rex. I would have never thought of that. Really? I think that'd be the first thing you tried. Here, let me. No, no, stop Here, let me. Come on, come on, come on! Just come on and go! Yay! <laughs> oh, it smells like cinnamon! Yeah, I only did that about one billion times. Oh man, I'm sorry. Oh, he was his button. No, don't touch it! people. It's just fruitcake. <laughs> you people need to grow up. Pizza. I'm for the love of pun. Systems 2000. <laughs> Looks like you've donned the Continual Christmas Sweater Model X97. It guarantees a happy holiday for you and all those around you. Yeah, not so much. Are you saying you'd like to take it off? Yes, I'd love to take it off. How? You wake up Christmas morning and it comes off. Sooner. How do I get it off sooner? Well, Astrid Andy, you have to find the true Christmas spirit deep inside you first. Before you can change that sweater, you've got to change your heart. Really? No, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the love of cake. Ah, uh, jokes. <laughs> Uh... 
Still tapped to that sweater, huh? You noticed? Yeah, well... Hey, what's this? What? What is it? Some kind of ripcord. It says, for emergencies only. Pull it! But is this an emergency? <laughs> okay, okay, if you're sure. Nothing could be worse than wearing this sweater. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay, one thing could be worse. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dan and Jack and Sam and, and everybody for working on that. And um, I know I'm, not, I'm running over time, right? A little bit, a little bit. Well, they were rude before. So here we go. These are some, if you want to pass those up, this is Asteroid Andy for you to take home with you, somebody. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I can't. It's in the lights. It's in the lights. Pass it up. Pass it up. Come on. Over here for this part. There we go. Somebody over there. Can turn my mic. All right. So, anyway, asteroidandy.com. Thank you very much.